Well, hey, witch friends. Hope everyone's hanging in there okay. It's me, your boy Shane. And uh, I wanted to bring you guys a video because it seems like this whole lockdown, quarantine, isolation thing is going on a little bit longer than a lot of us anticipated. Um, and I know some people out there are struggling a little bit with that. Um, and that coupled with the fact that my first video on uh, 40 kind of witchy themed boredom busters was like far away, far and away my, my most popular video yet. I got a lot of comments um, either publicly or privately from people saying, you know, thanks for this or they really enjoyed it. Um, so I want to bring you a couple more in case you have exhausted that list and uh, you're still stuck inside for a few more weeks. Um, but again, you know, we don't have to be facing a global pandemic for you guys to use these. These can be any day where you're kind of feeling restless and bored and don't have much to do and you, you've you got the witchy vibe going on and you kind of want to get your hands, uh, you know, in the dirt, so to speak. Um, so yeah, I have brainstormed for you, my friends, 21 additional witchy boredom busters. Enjoy. Practice writing in a magical alphabet like celestial or Theban script. Make a talisman if you've got some stones or seashells or beads. Blend yourself a new oil from some essential oils or plant essences. Practice remote viewing. Practice some psychometry. You can take a magical bath if you have some oils and sea salt and uh, herbs. Memorize some music to use in circle. Write a short story in which the protagonist is witchy or magical. Plan a visit to a sacred site. Even if you can't make it out there for a few years, it's fun to kind of fantasize and make an itinerary. Uh, read a witchy magazine or even pick up a subscription. Make a vision board or a magical collage. Join a witchy or magical themed Facebook group. Practice sex magic either with a partner or alone. Listen to a witchy podcast. There's a lot of great ones out there. Experiment with some Zener cards. Practice uh, boning up on your psychic skills. You can start an herb garden, either uh, outdoors or indoors. Make yourself or a friend a set of pagan prayer beads. You can read some awesome witchy fiction. Uh, do a painting of your favorite deities. Bake some crescent cakes or another traditional recipe for use in cakes and wine. Or do a seasonal craft like a bridge cross or a corn dolly. All right. So that's the list. Um, if you try any of these, please let me know in the comments. If you have your own list or if you've thought of some things that I neglected to mention, drop a comment. If you want to tell me... Um, about any other content that you want to see, if you have ideas for the types of videos you'd like me to make, uh, if if you just want to profess your undying love for me, that's fine too. Um, yeah, let me know. I'd love to start a conversation with you and, uh, you know, like, share, subscribe, etc., etc. Uh, one day I'll say that and I won't feel like a complete and total fraud. Today's not the day, but soon, right? And until next time, friends, just take care of yourselves and each other.